Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. The final count of ballots in all electoral division for the local government election was completed on Thursday, February 29. That includes all the ballots for the mayoral election for the municipality of Portmore with all ballots counted. The result indicated that the Jamaica Labour Party JLP candidates have won the majority of the seats in seven parishes, while the People's National Party PNP has won five. Kingston and St. Andrew ended in a tie, with the PNP and the JLP win, 20 seats each. The PNP won the majority of the divisions and the position of mayor of the municipality of Portmore. For St. Thomas, the JLP win six divisions, while the PNP win four out of ten divisions. The JLP won seven divisions in Portland, while the PNP only win two out of the nine divisions. However, the PNP won seven divisions. In St. Mary, while the JLP won 6 out of the 13 division. As for St. Anne, the JLP win 11 divisions, while the PNP win 5 out of the 16 division. In Trelawney, the JLP win 6 divisions, while the PNP only came away with 3 divisions. The JLP win 11 divisions in St. James, with the PNP only win 6 out of 17 divisions. But the PNP win big in Anova. After winning all 7 divisions, the PNP also win 11 divisions in Westmoreland, while the JLP only win 3 out of 14 divisions. For St. Elizabeth, the JLP win majority with 9 divisions, while PNP came out of the local government election with 6 divisions. Clarendon saw that the JLP win 12 divisions and the PNP 10 divisions. And St. Catherine had the PNP at 22 divisions and the JLP at 19 divisions. The police in Clarendon have arrested and charged Kenroy Bailey, otherwise called Not Nice, after he was implicated in a shooting in the parish in 2022. He has been charged with shooting with intent, position of prohibited weapon, and unauthorized position of ammunition, and use a firearm to commit a felony. According to the Maypen police, about 10.25 a.m. on May 25, 2022, Bailey, pulled a handgun from his waistband, pointed it at a man and fired a single shot at him. The man escaped and made a report to the police. On Wednesday, February 28, 2024, Bailey was taken into custody and charged. His court date is being arranged. Detectives assigned to the Manchester Police Division have laid charge against a man in the parish. Following an incident which occurred in Asia District, Manchester on February 24, charged with robbery with affiliation position of a prohibited weapon and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony is 20 years old Christiana Salmon, a carpenter of Asia District, Manchester. Reports are that about 2.30 p.m. Salman went inside a bar, pointed a handgun at a woman and ordered her to get down on her knees before smash a poker machine and remove all the cash from inside it. He then reportedly demanded that the woman hand over her Alcatel tablet which value at $47,000 and also took $5,000 in cash before leaving. He was later arrested and subsequently charged by the police. His court date has been finalized. Owning with intent, conspiracy to commit murder. Two counts being an accessory before the fact to commit murder. Charge have been laid against a couple in relation to an incident along the Yalas Main Road in St. Thomas on Friday, February 15. Charge are 43 years old Kenisha Bryan, otherwise called Gally, and 23 years old Dacosta Bernard, both of Yalas. Reports are that the couple resided together at a two bedroom dwelling structure that is owned by a man. However, the police are alleging that Bryan and the landlord had been involved in a long standing dispute, which got to the stage where Bryan threatened to kill him on numerous occasions. In a release, it was stated that. A report was made to the police and Brian was subsequently evicted from the dwelling. The release on the cooperative constabulary unit, CCU, said. Subsequently, Brian allegedly paid an undetermined sum of money to have the landlord kill in order to gain ownership of the dwelling. The police said the landlord was shot multiple times on February 15 with Brian's post, Bernard, being allegedly aware of the crime. Investigation led to Brian and Bernard arrested. And on Thursday, February 29, the couple was charged following a separate interview. 
They are scheduled to appear in the Centre Mass Parish Court on Monday, March 8th.